Hello and welcome to Bookends. I'm your host, Val Atmanavage, and today we're coming to you from the beautiful Maryland Room, uh, which is located in the Cibra Arts Public Library in downtown Frederick. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to focus solely on Black History Month, which is coming up in February. Um, we're going to talk to the manager of the Maryland Room, Mary Mannix, who's going to talk about uh, programming for Black History Month. And we're also going to be introduced to Mr. David Key, who's the president of ARCH. Um, he's going to talk about his, his childhood in Frederick County and some programs that he will be facilitating uh, with FCPL and Black History Month. So don't go anywhere and let's get started. Well, Frederick County Public Libraries has been doing Black History Month programming for many years. Different years, there's been different amounts of it. Librarians love a commemorative month, so that there's always been a wide variety of different programming. Some years more, some years less. This year, we are, have a great deal of Black History program. A large part of that comes out of our partnership with ART, which is our African American group here in the county. That has allowed us to expand our programming. Working with Mary uh, Mannix was probably two years ago, um, she called and, and wanted to co-sponsor a program uh, with ARCH. Uh, uh, we were thrilled to be a, a partner of, of the library, so um, we started out that way and have co-sponsored a number of um, presentations since. Our, per our mission is to identify, collect, and preserve the history of African-American histories in, in, in Frederick. And we want to be able to tell our, our story from our point of view. There's no other organization in the county that tells African-American history in that way. Black history is part of Frederick County history. It's a story which is not always told. It's one that we need to put special emphasis upon. Um, really to tell any history is important to us in the Maryland Room, but to enhance the story of those people whose, whose stories are not regularly told, those people whose stories are more in the background, those people who aren't always necessarily overpopulating the major textbooks, put special emphasis on us. We just really feel it's important to tell everybody's story, but particularly to tell the story of people like African Americans whose stories have not been told as loud and as strong as they should be. Oral history is extremely important, uh, especially in, in um, uh, our community. We want to be able to create something different from a, a museum experience. We want to be able to draw people in and have conversation uh, and that real conversation that we always talk about and never have. Well, this February, again, as being Black History Month programming, there is a variety of programming. Um, there are story times coming out of our children's department that relate to black history themes and to black history characters and black history people throughout history. Uh, what we are doing in adult programming is there is a black history genealogy program. That's a particular part of genealogy that can be harder to research. We have one program which is Growing Up in Urbana, which we are taking oral histories that David Key, who's the president of ARCH, did through the um, FCPL Memory Lab. David grew up in Urbana during a time when Urbana was much more rural. He also grew up in a time in Urbana when Urbana was predominantly white. At that time, um, families knew each other. So uh, um, my playground uh, uh, growing up was uh, humongous. It, it was uh, from Urbana to Frederick. So. Uh, uh, and, and at that time, I, I knew almost every family um, in that area. The community of Urbana um, had um, a single black family, uh, um, probably uh, um, when I was around seventh or eighth grade. So um, yeah, that, that was the only black, black family. And then of course, um, I, I lived a mile outside of, of uh, Urbana. But um, yeah, the, no one in Urbana, no, no black people in Urbana other than that family. And uh, m many people uh, um, today are not from, from here and, and uh, have no idea about um, how things were in, in Frederick at the time. So 
We hope to um, continue our partnership with ARCH for many, many years to come in order to enhance both of our programmings, to enhance both of our audiences, and to make sure that everyone at Frederick County Public Libraries, even if they don't you know, come to a program, if they walk through the door, they at least see the posters and are more aware of what ARCH is and more aware what the mayor alone from is. We are a system-wide resource, so even if you never come to Cibro Arts, we are still here for you by email or phone. You can find out more about the Maryland Room, of course, at fcpl.org. Well, that's a wrap from the Maryland Room. Thanks again for watching, and remember, all things FCPL, uh, check out fcpl.org or come visit us, and we'll see you in the aisles.